the old 14th is one of the most classic and widely played openings in checkers. And it's a favorite of the very beginner all the way to the world champions. Today, I'm going to focus on a variation that is favored by top level players. This variation is very deceptive and there are a lot of instructional points to it. So let's get started. Let's play the old 14. So the opening begins 11, 15, 23, 19, 8, 11, 22, 17, and four, eight is what forms the opening. So continuing on, And I know this is standard play to many of the viewers out there. Not 913 here as this goes into the big shot, but 1 6 instead. Now, typically, 22 17 is played here, but this. 32-28 move is this deceptive variation. So this is really where we're going to focus our main points on today. So after 32-28, 3-8 can be played, followed by 30-26, and now 9-13. White plays 19-16 for the exchange. And we're going to come back to this particular position a lot. What white wants in this position is for red to try to protect this piece on 8 and go into 12. This is exactly what white wants. This is a winning formation here for white. And white wins by going 24-19 and taking the double jump for red and getting a king. White then takes a double jump back. Red is going to jump this piece first and at this point white can wait wherever it wants. It can go in for a king and now the king must jump and then you can all see the inevitable with white getting the triple jump the king and the win. So continuing the runoff with 8-12 is a losing move. But let's go back to this position and see where red should play instead. Here we are back to the position. So now we know that 8-12 will lose. So what should red play instead? What red should do is pitch this piece off 22 which will prevent that 2 from 2 from happening. So Pitching 13, 17, and now red can run off the piece with 8, 12. The best play for white is actually to continue with breaking up this elbow. So 24, 19, allowing the double jump. Red getting a king, and now white can go 26, 22. Red captures this piece on 16. And then white getting the double jump here. Seeing as this position is a little dangerous with white threatening next to trap it, red is going to start releasing the pieces here and it does that by going 14-17. White is now going to crown. And red is in danger of losing these two pieces so Red is going to go 7-10. White can go 25-21. Red moving out of the way. And now white is going to start to make an inroad toward the king row here. Again, red moving out of the way further. And now I'm sure some of you can see that red is really lining up for a triple jump here and just waiting for the timing to be right. After 
White gets this king. The timing is now right for this triple jump. And it begins by going 6-9. And then 14, 17. And now the triple jump with 22, 25. And the game is a draw. It's just one way to play out this ending. But there's an even more deceptive variation here, even after the 32, 28. And let's talk about that one next. There is another very deceptive variation here that White can play after the necessary 1317 pitch. And then red going 812 instead of 2419, White can also play 2522. Extremely deceptive here. Red can jump into the single corner, but then White can just go 27-23 next. So instead, 12-19 is best. Now White can go 22-17, 5-9, not again 18-22 because White just has 27-23. So waiting with 5-9. White has to go 26-22. And now after 14-18, White can play this brilliant 27-23 move. It's best for Red to take this jump. And there's now a backstop piece here, so White can safely go 17-14. This jump with 10 can be played, but it lets white off the hook just a little bit. So instead, jumping into the single corner, and then white jumping into the double corner. So red is a piece up in this position, but it must be very careful. Red is going to develop 10-14 and then 6-10 next to start exchanging this piece off here. White gets a king. And red does just that lining up. What white wants to do is white wants to pin a piece on this square so that these pieces can then be trapped. So white is going to start to make an inroad here to get this piece as a crown on this square. Red is going to start exchanging off pieces. And white is going to continue with its goal. Red now crowns, and the goal for white is now met. The red king is going to come out, and now white needs to alleviate some pressure on these three pieces, and it's going to exchange off with 2419 next. The Red King is going to press the piece. And now Red is just going to wait a little bit, and it's going to get a crown now. Instead of going for another king right away, White is going to move 1-6 to stop any potential exchange from happening with the Red King here on this square. And white stops red from making any movement on this square by going 6-9 next. White can now start to advance toward the king row. And instead of getting a king right now, because that would lose, white is going to go 9-13, and then red can go either onto 22 or 21, and now white can safely get a king, and then if 7-10 is played, the white king can fork, and then after 10-14, the double jump, 
and the jump back, the game is a solid, solid draw. Let's take another look at this deceptive variation, but this time you can see it from the red perspective. So the old 14th once again. Such a classic opening in checkers. Again, not 913 here. And here we are at this landing after 1916. Not 812, but instead the 1317 pitch. And now A12 can be played, but instead of the 2419, we have this 2522 move. Capturing 1219 first. And now 2622. The 14, 18, and then the 27, 23. 17, 14 after this capture. And now red is going to start developing its pieces here. And the objective, once again, for white is to place a king on this square to box in these pieces here. So it starts making an inroad now. And we have the 1417 exchange. White is going to continue to make that inroad. So objective one for white is complete here. And now white needs to start releasing these pieces in the double corner. It does that by 24-19. Red gives chase. And now red gets a king. After 1-6, red is going to continue to bring the king out here. And now white can start to make an inroad for another king. And the key move here for white, to press this piece. And on 17-21, it can also go to 22, but 21 is probably safer. And now white can get the king. And then after 7-10, with the press and fork, red can just go 10-14, double jump, and the jump back for a really great draw. There are a lot of spectacular variations in the old 14th, and this is just one of them. Granted, you will likely not see this 25-22 variation in casual play, as it's extremely difficult and typically only seen at the Grandmaster level. But now you all know it, so I recommend trying it out in your games and see what kind of success you can have with it. At the very least, you will likely throw your opponents off guard. Thanks, as always, for watching.